Hello, in this video, I'm going to present our recent work, ISLAM Imperative SLAM. It's the first paper that applies imperative learning to the field of SLAM and shown that the front end and back end can learn jointly and mutually contribute to each other in a self supervised manner. Simultaneous localization and mapping is the task of tracking the trajectory of a robot as it moves through space while simultaneously building a map of the environment. The design of existing SLAM methods generally adheres to a front-end and back-end architecture. In this structure, the front-end is typically responsible for interpreting sensor data and generating initial pose and map estimations using engineered feature tracking or deep learning methods, while the back-end refines these initial estimations to improve the overall accuracy through global optimization. Although this front backend design has achieved great success, its limitation is that there is only one way connection from the front end to the back end, and there is no feedback in the other direction. Such decoupled paradigm can lead to only suboptimal performance of the system. Additionally, the learning based front end may require training labels, which are costly to acquire in real world scenarios. Moreover, it may have generalization issues if the training set lacks diversity. To address these limitations, we present Imperative SLAM, a novel SLAM system that establishes a bidirectional connection between the front end and back end and achieves co optimization through imperative learning. In our framework, the front end model can learn geometry knowledge obtained from the back end which helps it to improve toward global consistency. The front-end enhancement can also benefit the back-end, achieving reciprocal bias correction between the two components and get better overall accuracy. Furthermore, it achieves self-supervised learning without relying on ground truth supervision. So, how do we achieve that? We formulate the SLAM task as a bi-level optimization problem. The lower level optimization, corresponding to the backend, receives the post estimations from the front-end module and iteratively optimizes them to minimize the lower level loss L. Then, the optimized post P star are used to formulate the upper level loss U and then backpropagate in one step to the front-end model to tune its parameter theta. In this way, we correlate the pose and model optimizations together and make them cooperatively contribute to a better trajectory. Our front-end odometry model includes an IMU preintegrator and a stereo wheel to estimate frame-to-frame -frame motion from IMU data and stereo images, respectively. The stereo VO is consists of a monocular VO for estimating the rotation and translation direction, and a skill corrector for recovering the true skill. The estimated motions are aggregated to form trajectories and then transmitted to the backend for optimization. In backend, we employ a post-velocity graph optimization to integrate the estimation from visual and inertial odometry and jointly contribute to a more accurate trajectory. The optimization variables, i.e. the poses and velocities, are nodes in the graph, which are connected by four types of geometry constraints. The IMU rotational constraint introduces IMU general measurements into the graph. The VO estimation constraint links the poses with relative carrier motions estimated by the stereo VO. The translation velocity cross constraint bridges the positions and velocities through the graph as a whole, and the data velocity constraint links the velocities with the pre integrated IMU acceleration. The graph optimization objective, also the lower level objective, is the weighted sum of these four constraints, while the upper level objective is the VO constraint with weighted rotational and translational parts. Now I introduce how to backpropagate the upper-level objective U into the front end. 
According to the Chen rule, the gradient can be computed as follows. The challenge lies in the last term, which is very complicated due to iterative solutions of optimization. If we directly go backward along the forward path, we need to enroll the iterations, which is inefficient and also error-prone due to numerical instabilities. Thus, we apply an efficient one-step strategy that utilizes the nature of stationary points to solve this problem. We find that after the lower level optimization converges, this term becomes zero, which eliminates the complex gradient term and bypasses the lower level optimizations iterations. This technique allows the backpropagation to be done in one step. In experiments, we evaluate our method on both the Kitty and Iroq benchmarks, which encompass distinct motion patterns. Results show that our method achieves SOTA performance without using any ground truth label in this dataset. This figure shows how much the trajectory error decreases through imperative learning. To demonstrate the generalizability, we use both our sterile wheel and a monocular wheel with ground truth scale as a front end. In both settings, significant accuracy improvements are observed for both front-end and back-end on both datasets. We create an animation to show the improvement of wheel trajectories during imperative iterations. It is observed that the wheel trajectories are adjusted toward the ground truth through self-learning. Note that the ground truth trajectory is plotted only for reference and is not utilized in the algorithm. Here are more examples on different sequences of Kitty and Iraq. Additionally, we also do a partial backpropagation experiment to verify the performance and the insufficient bandwidth between the front-end and back-end. Results show that our method is highly effective even when applied it partially on the sequence. That's all for this video. If you are interested, welcome to visit our homepage and see the paper.